Now at 547, we turn you to this morning's business report. According to research, grocery shopping on an empty stomach will cost you an extra $26 per trip on average. Can confirm. And the tax filing deadline is just a few days away. Jane King is live with the NASDAQ with all those stories and more. Happy Friday, Jane. Hi, Nicole and, Kate. and Caitlin. Happy Friday to you. I get a feeling a lot of people are going to be doing their taxes this weekend. So we've got, of course, that April 15th tax filing deadline approaching quickly. And the federal government expects to collect about $2.3 trillion in individual income taxes this year, while the IRS expects more than 168 million individual returns. Now, Kathy Pickering, the chief tax officer at H&R Block, says if you don't have everything to gather by now, you should consider filing an extension. Filing an extension is really pretty easy. You can go online, it's a simple form, and it will give you an automatic extension until October 15th. The personal finance site Self Financial says the average American pays $525,000 in taxes in their lifetime. While well, buyers are getting a break on used cars, according to Cars Commerce March Industry Insights report, the used car market supply increased over the last year, with average prices hitting a 32-month low of just over at $28,000. Now, additionally, about 70% of dealers feel inventory levels are just right. It's a big difference than where we were a couple of years ago. A lot of EVs, used EVs, are sitting on the lots right now as well. And a recent poll of 2,000 Americans found the average person makes two grocery runs per week and budgets $162 for their grocery shopping. This was conducted by one poll in Dole Foods. They also found shopping hungry results in an extra $26 spent on average. The average person is, is shopping for two, 30 percent are shopping to feed themselves, and according to respondents, the best time to avoid to uh, rushes and crowds is 8 to 10 a.m. That's the best time to shop at the grocery, they say. Well, the S&P 500 jumped yesterday. The Nasdaq closed at a record. Uh, the Dow, though, was down. Now, this morning, the Dow is pointing up. We are waiting for big bank earnings, which start coming in today. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. All right, thanks, Jane. Have a great day and a great weekend. 540